G'day, back again uh, for another taste test. Um, got a few chocolates for you today um, from the Cadbury range. Um, one's pretty new and the other one's been out quite a while, but um, I haven't really been enthused to try it because the price point uh, was quite expensive for what it was, but um, I'll show you that and I'll talk about that more in a sec. But um, I thought I might start off with the new thing. Uh, so um, on the ads, um, they've just been recently advertising this new sort of flavor filling, more of a filled chocolate sort of thing. So Cadbury is the, um, the brand that I'm trying today and the new flavor is dairy milk with Oreos in it. So it's got an Oreo type filling. Um, from what I can understand, it's, um, come on, focus for me, come on, do it. Come on, cover that, will that do it? Get in there. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, so it's basically, it's got vanilla flavoured cream and bits of Oreo biscuits in it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, ingredients wise, it's got quite a few ingredients. Um, there's no way you'll ever be able to read that. Oh, it focused in there for a sec. Uh, no, yes. No, not happening. Whoop. Yeah, no, it's way too small. But anyway, um, so we'll go quick, through it quickly. Um, so the ingredients, full cream, milk, sugar, vegetable oil, milk solids, wheat flour, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, cocoa powder, wheat glucose syrup, wheat starch, uh, emulsifiers, soy, lechin, um, 476. So uh, 476 is a number. So um, I've got I've got actually a list of all the numbers and what they mean. So I'll go through and read the ingredients and I'll go back quickly and check what those numbers actually mean. Um, so we've got soy lechin, 476, uh, salt, raising agents, 503 and 500. Uh, acidity regulator 501 and flavors. I don't know what flavors means. Just flavors. Okay, like it just says flavors, so that's interesting. So um, let's have a look at um what these are. So we've got an emulsifier 476. So let's have a quick look. Uh, 400. 476 is. Oh, okay. Hold up. This I'll have to. It's quite a long one. Um, 476. Polyglycerol esters of interestified rhinonucleic acid. Rhino, no, 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 that's not right. In, interest, interesterified ry, ryceno, ricinolesic acid. Ricinolesic acid? Yeah, so that. <laughs> Polyglycerol esters of inter, interesterified. Ricino, ricinoic acid. That's a mouthful, and I could not tell you what it is. What is it? It's a it's an emulsifier, so it um, I guess it um, brings things together. Um, quickly moving on from that long one, uh, we've got 500 and 503. 500 is sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, bicarb soda. So we all know that stuff. And 503 is ammonium bicarbonate, so similar, I guess, just works a little bit differently. So um, that's a pretty common ingredient you find in things. Um, what do we got? Uh, acidity regulator 501, so they're back in the same area. Potassium bicarbonate, so we've got ammonium, potassium, and sodium, all bicarbonates. So that's that's interesting. So um, a lot of the uh, um, carbonates. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. So let's try it. Mm. So I'm getting a very, um, getting that chocolate, Cadbury chocolate smell, and um, I'm also getting a very strong Oreo smell, like a very chocolatey biscuit type thing. So um, there you go. So you can sort of see, you can see there you've got a bit of biscuit there. Come on, focus for me. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Stupid camera, do it. Go, go, go. Come on! Why won't you do it? Why won't you focus for me? Come on! Come on! There you go. Yeah, so you got your, your chocolate, your biscuits. Yeah, looks good. Let's have a try. Mmm. 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 Okay. There's a lot less. And the chocolate around it is a lot thin, thinner than I thought it was going to be, and there's a lot more cookie. See, as you can see there, um, 
it's not going to focus in for Megan. Um, but you can sort of get the impression. Um, you can see um, a lot of cookie in the in that, and uh, the, the chocolate isn't quite as thick as you'd expect. And the vanilla cream, it's there. The cookie sort of overwhelms everything though. Um, I'm getting that. I'm basically getting an aftertaste of, of cookie, and that's all I'm getting, sort of thing. So. Mmm. 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 It's actually quite nice. Um, so getting the chocolate hit, the Cadbury chocolate is really nice. It's um, it's just a really creamy chocolatey taste for people who probably don't live in Australia and get the proper Cadbury. Um, yeah, it's a really classic, nice creamy chocolate taste, and then you've got the vanilla, which sort of comes through and it's a, it's a lot smooth, it's a very smooth texture and, and taste and it blends well with the chocolate and but then you've got the um, the crunchy Oreo pieces um, which are which are quite nice actually um, they taste uh, they taste those biscuit pieces almost taste a bit nicer than normal Oreo biscuit back there a lot um, they taste a lot fresher and and um, and, and crispier um, it's quite nice um, I'll double a little bit um, yeah, uh, it's very nice. Um, so the the texture the, the texture from the the cookie is really enjoyable. Like I like things with the, the crunch and um, and then and then the the other texture, the smooth texture of the cream, um, they sort of play together and it and it's quite nice. It's a it's um it's a very interesting sort of um, mouthfeel. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Um, I actually really enjoy it. Um, more than I thought it was going to. I thought it was just going to be another type of chocolate, another just a vanilla, just a sort of filled chocolate. But actually, it's got a bit of the um the Kinder vibe to it. You know the um how you got the milk chocolate on the outside and the and the white chocolate on the inside. It's got a bit of that sort of vibe to it, with a bit of um cookie thrown in. And obviously, um, the chocolate is, is more Cadbury taste. The Kinder chocolate is pretty good quality too, and it tastes pretty good. Uh, if you see some, oh yeah, you can probably see my cat there. Just probably looking at me funny. But anyway, yeah, so, um, it's very nice. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Good stuff. Uh, they sell it in blocks, like 250 gram blocks or 200 gram blocks. And then there's two other flavors as well. Uh, apparently, I've only seen the ad, but when I went to get some, they only had these bars, and um, and it didn't have and no sign of the other flavors um, on what they were. But it'd be interesting. One was pink and one was green, so I'm guessing um, maybe a, a strawberry and a mint one. So maybe they're not exciting if they sell what they are. But anyway, we'll move on. So that's that's a thumbs up. That's a real nice. Um, apparently, you can only get that at Coles as well. Um. The, the last the last video I did with the twisties, um, you can only get them as coals as well. Same with this flavor, uh, as far as far as I can understand. That's why what I was saying, like um, it's strange. Only this one sort of supermarket gets all these different new types of brands. Maybe they test it out, and if they're successful, they sort of get released to the other ones. But anyway, moving on, another Cadbury um, chocolate. Um, so these ones are Dairy Milk Crunchy. Crunchy crackers. Now, these were plugged pretty heavy. Um, these have been out for quite a while, like quite a few months, probably at least six months. Um, they were plugged really, really heavy. Um, you notice that they're only 35 grams, uh, so it's not a full sort of block of chocolate. It's just like a smaller type um, snack type thing. Um, yeah. So there's four blocks in it. Um, they wanted two dollars for this, two dollars per this. Um, so that's why I haven't tried it till now because these things are pretty much almost out of date. Um, now it's selling for twenty cents each, so I had to grab a handful. Um, there's two flavors. There's a sweet one as well. Um, it was there. I didn't grab it at the time. I probably should have. I will if I if there are still some left. But yeah, that's the sort of price I like to pay twenty cents each for one of them. But they really should have been. Like, and, and there were so many there, like boxes and boxes, like it was clear that they just had not sold for $2 each. These should have been $1 each at the most 
forgive the dog next door barking. Um, so these these should have been one 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 dollar each max sort of thing, and then they would have sold because yeah, they look they look pretty cool. Um, they look interesting. It's something new. Um, everyone's always looking for something new. Uh, we'll go quickly go through the um, the ingredients. Uh, we've got um, probably pretty similar to the Oreo stuff. Um, we've got full cream milk sugar, full cream milk sugar, wheat flour, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, vegetable oil, milk solids, glucose syrup, malt extract for barley, emulsifiers four four two four seven six, and soy lechin. So I think four seven six with the interested stuff, interested interested rhino sinoleic acid. That's four seven six. So yeah, okay. Um, four four two. Four four two is in the page. Four four two. Ah, oh, there you are. Ammonium salt of phosphatidic acid. So there's an extra D in there. So that's weird. Ammonium salt of phosphatidic phosphatidic acid. Right. So okay. So that's something. Uh, so that's the emulsifier. Um. I'm guessing all these emulsifiers and stuff are for the like, because these have had cookie pieces in it, and I suppose you need all, the, all those emulsifiers maybe to, to bring them together. And these have got like cookie stuff in them too, so maybe either, I don't know, either it's, I'll have to get some pure chocolate and check what's on it, and then maybe I can get a checklist, and I, then I'll see what extra it is on, goes into the things, extra things that add, that are added to it. That would make sense. Um, so where was I? Uh, let's see, salt, wheat starch, um, emulsifiers, uh, raising agents, 503, 500, and 450. So we've heard 503 and 500. Uh, that's sodium, sodium bicarbonate and ammonium bicarbonate. Um, 450 is sodium pyrophosphate. Um, okay, so it's a salt of some kind. And it's a, a raising agent. Okay, so it makes things go... I guess uh, flavors just says flavors. Uh, I don't know what they mean when they say that. Flour treatment agent two two three. Okay, which contains sulfites. Let's see. Let's see what two two three is. Two two three. One more. Two two three. Sodium metabisulfite. So it's a. Uh, well, that's what it contains sulfite. So there you go. Sodium metabisulfite and butter from milk. And enzymes, any old type of enzymes will do. I don't know. So there you go. So flavors and enzymes are in here, and who knows what they are. But anyway, let's open her up and have a look. See. So they've got a um, little bit of. I wonder. I wonder if that'll zoom in for me, so you can read for yourself. It's not going to do it. Oh, I think I need to get another webcam because this one is not performing. And I think it's making a really weird clicky. There you go. And then I think it's making a really weird clicky sound every time it zooms and it sort of auto focuses a bit off so yeah maybe it's time for a new one. Oh well this one isn't that old it's not a very good quality one I guess so we're opening them up ah okay so we've got um so my first impression is actually the cookies are a lot smaller than sort of what was implied it was going to be so you can see ah oh, it says on the underneath there's some as well that's a weird like weird there you go uh, so there you go. So you've got, they're a lot paler than than they sort of. You think they'd be more toasted than that? So they're sort of like a little weird cookies just sort of stuck on. See, I think that I don't think it, I'm not sure. Let's have a let's have a let's have a crack and have a go. Mmm. Mmm. So it um. As you can see, the um, the cookie doesn't go away. The cookie, the cracker, doesn't go all the way through, which is weird. See, whoops! It's sort of look at look at that picture there. Look at the way. I'll get the, I'll get a. See, look look at the difference. Look at that. It's sort of that that cookie is way smaller. Um, that cracker is way smaller than what it looks here, and it's sort of implied because it's coming through the bottom that it's um goes all the way through, but it doesn't. Um, my first, I'll chuck that back in there. My first impression, um, it's got that Cadbury taste, that ca chocolate Cadbury taste, but um, 
you get a bit of saltiness off the cracker, so um, it's a it's a salty cracker. I think it says there on the Cadbury chocolate milk, cho Cadbury dairy milk, milk chocolate. There's two milks there, uh, and crunchy crackers with a hint of salt. So yeah, they're like Jats or whatever sort of crackers you have in your country. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a bit weird. Um, the cracker has 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 like a flowery, a flowery taste, it's like um, a flower, like it's. You can see it's a bit pale, like it's maybe it's a bit underdone or something like that. I don't know. Um, hmm. So, you're getting that salt, it's not really that salty kick. It's not huge, it's only just like a, a very subtle, subtle hit of salt. But, it just it takes away it takes away from the flavor of the chocolate. The chocolate sort of it makes it gives the gives the chocolate a bit of a flowery taste. Like um, it's really strange actually. Um, it's 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 nice enough, but I can see why they didn't sell very well. Maybe the sweet. I think the sweet biscuit like um, what might be better go well because it's the same design just with a sweet biscuit rather than a salty cracker. Um, so I think that might work better because this um. It's a bit strange. Um, it, it sort of get that aftertaste of um, like a um, maybe like a, I don't know if you've ever eaten a space food stick. Like it's um, it, it's like a it's like chocolatey flour, like a chocolatey flowery taste. It's it's a bit strange. Um, so I would I would say that those crackers have detracted from the taste of the chocolate, and um, and all they're adding is a bit of saltiness. Um, to the flavour, and then they've got that salt, flowery aftertaste sort of thing. So I don't think they're like a, a winner. I don't think um, they definitely aren't worth two dollars each. Like I, will, I just I looked at that, and I just couldn't bring myself to pay two bucks for that. I mean, you, you, you're asking a lot for me to pay two bucks for that sort of thing these days, and that's fifty. That's forty-five grams. That's ten grams more, but it's probably an extra piece of chocolate. So. I'm not as convinced on that one. Um, I'm going to have to go and grab because I think they're, um, I think they are a failure, and I don't. I think they will be taking it off, out of sale pretty quickly. At least these ones. So, yeah, I can understand why. Um, yeah, and, and as I said, two bucks is a bit too much. So there you go. So there's two, two, two chocolates. Um, one's a winner. That that Oreo chocolate is actually a surprise. It was surprisingly good. I really enjoyed that. And this um, crunchy cracker. It was nice, but not nice enough to justify um, having it on a regular basis or having it again, sort of thing. I probably I've got a, I've got a couple I've got a handful of them for 20, like twenty cents each. I bought five, but it's five for a dollar. That's pretty good. That's good value. That's like nineteen eighties prices for a chocolate bar almost. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not super happy with them. But anyway, that's that's, that's so that's that then. So um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be coming back for more. I've got a little surprise. Um, another Oreo related surprise, and um, a few ice creams to look at. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, until then, I'll see you later.